in, in, uh, in OKC in Vegas on rehab, and, but it's just good to be back in LA and uh, I'm ready to get going with the boys. With this, I guess, second rehab situation for you, uh, what was the focus for you and what made you know that you were ready to go back to the yeah, I think just getting on my feet and um, for, you know, three hours at a time. Um, we had some long games down in Vegas. Um, so, you know, just knowing that I was able to make it through those games and um, overcome some, you know, initial soreness from just being on the feet for, for uh, longer than I have been. Um, and coming out of it feeling totally fine was, uh, was a sign that I was ready. The most communicated to you is as to what the focus is going to be for you now. That yeah, I mean, just being ready for everything. Um, I'm going to be in center field tonight. Um, I'm sure I'll be mixing in at, at shortstop. i got a couple games at short down in, um, in OKC. So I'll just be ready for primarily those two positions, but you never know when I come up. I know you said the rehab is going to be like very training for you. Like, how do you feel like your timing is? Yeah, no, I felt good. I mean, I, I had, kind of like we were saying, I had three different rehab stints, and um, I got a lot of live ABs in between. So um, I feel like I pretty much was able to simulate close to a, a full spring training. Um, so, you know, I feel as good now as I, I feel like I would have uh, come out of spring training. I feel like a long time coming. This is yeah. very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting traded. I know you probably didn't expect it to be with the Dodgers, but then the trade, things like that. Yeah, I mean, since getting traded, it's really kind of flown by just because I've been, you know, going, sorry about it, going all around from place to place. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to finally get playing some some big league games again. Um, I really haven't been on the injury list very much my whole career up until this year. So it's felt weird, you know, not, not getting to play. Um, so I'm excited and hopefully finish this year out strong. And then, Tommy, I believe your mom was a Dodgers fan. Um, just kind of what's the backstory there and how special is this night for her and your family? Yeah, she grew up in L.A. Um, she's got a lot of family in L.A. still, and, and I grew up in San Diego. Um, but she was, um, yeah, like she said, she's a big-time Dodgers fan. Um, she used to follow them even when she went out to college in Massachusetts. So um, it's really special, especially for her um, and her side of the family. And we'll have some, some people out here tonight who I, who I know are very excited to watch uh, watch me play in Dodger Blue. Awesome, thanks. What was that? Oh, and then uh, last, a couple years ago, you're well above average at the plate last year. Offensive number just a little down. What's the biggest key to kind of getting back to that this season? Yeah, you know, just consistency. Um, I think a big part of it is, um, you know, just recognizing what my swing is like and, and my flaws when I start to go bad and, and uh, having the cues to really work on to, you know, minimize those slumps. Um, so, I mean, just like just like any hitter, you know, it's all about consistency. Anyone can have good games and bad games and it's about, you know, maximizing the number of good games you have. When you see all that talent in that room, how exciting is it to be with this group? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy, you know. I mean, I'll be hitting in front of uh, Shohei and Mookie and Freddie and then a bunch of other great hitters in the lineup too. So it's it's definitely surreal, you know. I'm sure it'll it'll be even more so when I get out there on the field and get to play with these guys.